It's Tuesday, December 16th, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A very interesting area to watch right here. This is the tail end of a front. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's the front. Here's Bermuda, the Bahamas. We have some of the showers around. Colder air has sweeped in back behind it. This spot in here, there's going to be moisture building even more so, and it may try to spin up into a subtropical storm. A low chance of that, but there is a chance of that. With that said, even if it does develop, It'll be moving away, staying away from land, always keeping things in perspective on this channel, but very interesting to see kind of these features outside of the hurricane season. We'll be tracking this as we go throughout the week. Here's the tail end of the front through here, even a bit of rain over toward uh, parts of the north coast of Cuba, helping to draw in even more moisture back toward parts of the Western Caribbean, which we're gonna to cover to the north of this. Here's that front sitting right in through here. It's this area of rain we're watching Drape back through the Bahamas. Meanwhile, back through Florida, because the front has cleared through, a chilly start to the morning, but overall a good deal of sunshine to uh, start the day on the back side of it. Now, watching this area, again, right about here, that's gonna work its way off toward the uh, southeast and then eventually the east of Bermuda. Here's the inside look at the European model, and it's showing how I mentioned a very low chance of this happening, but a chance of it happening, looking at about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a brief subtropical system forming. So not tropical in nature. Uh, tropical systems uh, are typically stronger. A subtropical system, kind of different characteristics, not necessarily as strong. But either way, trying to stay over the water, which is a good thing with these uh, areas. Just kind of a very interesting thing to uh, monitor. Here we go out in time. Let me take you and show you the wide view, and then we'll zoom down to different spots. Here's Bermuda, and you can see by tomorrow, really a blob of rain, not super organized, but as it lifts in latitude, as it moves to the north, it'll acquire more spin. In Wednesday and Thursday, you see right here, starting to spin. This is when it briefly could become a subtropical system, a subtropical storm, but exactly where you'd want one, right? Sitting right over the open waters. And then what's going to happen Thursday and Friday, still spinning out there, right? An issue more for shipping channels, but watching a front that's sitting back to the west, this front will eventually absorb it. So still that spin sitting out here in the north central Atlantic, by the time we get into Friday, here comes a big front. I'll zoom down into this in just a second. This big front starts to slide in and kind of grabs it and lifts this moisture up to the north and absorbs it once we work our way into Saturday. So a very brief window that this would develop Thursday to Friday into actually a classified system. And you can see it here with some of the uh, winds. It's this area in here that we're watching right through here. So as we go out in time, you'll eventually see this thing starting to uh, spin. Now you get spins out there that are not necessarily even subtropical, but this one could gain some subtropical characteristics. Going out in time here and stopping it by Thursday, and you see right in through here, there's a bit of a spin right here. Here's Bermuda. You see this uh, circulation with this. So Thursday into Friday, that's when it could spin up. And we'll see if they classify, but it could spin up into that subtropical storm and then kind of lift its way north in latitude right there. Still that spin, you see that don't a hole right there. So we've got this area of low pressure, may become subtropical, but then to the west, here is that front that will eventually push in and kind of grab it. And all of this will kind of merge together as we work our way into a Saturday. You can see it there lifting up to the north. So it's really a small window Thursday into Friday that that area may actually develop. If, it, if we do get a subtropical system outside of the hurricane season, it gets the ne next name on the list, which is Nestor. We stay in this calendar year. The new list of names actually kicks in January 1st, even though the hurricane season doesn't start officially until June 1st. So we stay with this list as we go forward. Now, of course, the heart of the hurricane season, uh, anywhere from July, but especially August, September, and October, we are outside of the hurricane season now, but in a rare occasion, there are some named systems. I believe there's been 28 named systems uh, that have been classified in the month of December, named systems that have been out there. But again, either way, no threat to land. But here's that front sitting right here. That could bring us some additional rain, say parts of Cuba, the Bahamas, and Jamaica today with scattered areas of rain. Here's that little pocket of rain I mentioned yesterday. So watching Dominica, Martinique, a little bit more so St. Lucia and Barbados, better chance 
of getting some rain even over toward St. Vincent. Then by the time we work our way into our Wednesday, scattered areas of rain, the tail end of the front through here, pockets of rain, watching that as we work our way out in time into Thursday. A little bit of an uptick near El Salvador and Guatemala. Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, northern Belize, better chance of some rain. And then watching out for that easterly flow in the eastern Caribbean that will spill over some of the showers. And we'll cover that later in this video with those uh, three-day forecasts. Now, the wider view lifting to the north showing this front. This is the front we're watching. And I mentioned that chillier air back behind it. Parts of the southeast U.S. rolling back into the north northern Bahamas. Florida and the northern Bahamas, it is a chilly start. There's the blob of rain we'll be watching as we work our way into Wednesday to see if it spins up. And a little bit of moisture here, watching this over toward the Gulf. Some of this moisture uh, just kind of hanging around. You can see this here as we go Wednesday and Thursday. That moisture gets tied into this new front sweeping by the uh, Great Lakes. So you see some of that moisture kind of lifting up toward the Gulf here, getting tied into this. This is Thursday and then watching this area here. Then Thursday and a Friday. This front here sweeps across toward the mid-Atlantic New England in the Atlantic region of Canada and then eventually clipping by Bermuda and then eventually here's that spin out there in the Atlantic. By Saturday it will eventually absorb that as it lifts through the North Atlantic. So watching the seas with the tail end of the front through here. Everything is rougher back through the central and even southern Bahamas and of course the uh, Atlantic waters. This here is today and then we flip over into tomorrow. The Atlantic Passage ways in the eastern Caribbean with that persistent easterly flow will be a bit bumpier. But as we go over the next couple of days, the Gulf for the most part and much of the Caribbean generally settled. This year is by the time we get into Thursday, just watching that chop to rougher seas once you get off to the Atlantic side. So the Atlantic passageway is bumpier and then of course rougher as we work our way out into the Atlantic. So watching some of the rain that we've been monitoring already from overnight and this morning back through parts of the uh, Bahamas where we could get some spots of 50 millimeters of rain. But here comes that next surge of rain. I mentioned bit of rain back toward Houston, then eventually New Orleans sliding back toward uh, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, panhandle of Florida lifting up toward uh, Georgia where an inch or two of rain will be a possibility. Scattered through here, but I mentioned today with the tail end of the front up through here, Cuba back through Jamaica, we may get a few brief downpours that could give us 25 millimeters of rain. That'll be a possibility. This in through here is still kind of hit or miss. It's not to say we can't get a couple brief downpours of uh, Puerto Rico, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, but the rain chance not too high. But Dominica south through St. Vincent, this is that little pocket today with some of the extra moisture. St. Lucia, for example, we may get a few spots of 25 millimeters of rain to about 50 millimeters of rain. So that little pocket of rain there, hit or miss Grenada back through Trinidad and Tobago. Got Guyana and Venezuela, a bit more as we work our way toward uh, Suriname in central sections of uh, Guyana, and then scattered areas of rain as we swing back through here. But again, still watching out for some of those uh, brief downpours. And here's some of that moisture that's going to try to feed up uh, to the uh, north, where a couple inches of rain will be possible. Not as much over toward Texas, but again, South Texas and really Southeast Texas, better chance of getting some of this moisture tied in uh, coming out of uh, Mexico and then lifting up toward the uh, southern Gulf with some of that rain. Of course, and then watching this front that's going to press through right through here. And there's that eventual blob of rain back toward the uh, Atlantic sitting over the water. So with the tail end of the front nearby Jamaica, we have a 50% chance of some rain and watching out for a few downpours today and about a 40% chance tomorrow. Same thing through the Cayman Islands. We're looking at a 50% chance over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, Trinidad and Tobago, our rain chance is low at about 20%, but Barbados a little bit higher today. It's that moisture feeding and same thing back through St. Lucia. You see that rain chance today, St. Lucia, running at 50%, about a 30% chance in Grenada. More of it will be sitting up to the north, but back towards St. Vincent, the Grenadines, especially St. Vincent, that's where we have a better chance of at least getting some passing showers for today in Martinique, running at about a 40% chance, 40% chance today as well as we work our way through Dominica. Then we get to the north, rain chance a little bit lower, isolated as we get back through Guadalupe, Antigua, and Barbuda the next three days, running at a 30 
30% chance. The next two days, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, a 30% chance up to a 40% chance by the time we get into Thursday and Guilla and St. Bart's running at that 30 to 40% chance and windy at times in some spots. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia, rain chance at 30%. So isolated, that 30% chance will hold, but it doesn't mean we can't see a few downpours, parts of uh, Puerto Rico. Same thing, U.S. and British Virgin Islands watching out for the passing showers right through the end of the week. The Bahamas today, again, especially central Bahamas, that's where there's that better chance of rain that we've already seen from overnight and this morning. Turks and Caicos with the tail end of the front, a 50% chance this morning. Across the DR, the Dominican Republic, we're looking at a 30% chance. The next few days in Haiti, rain chance holding at 20%. Scattered about through parts of Belize, a 40% chance over the next two days and a 50% chance by Thursday. Aruba, the rain chance staying on the low side today, a 20 to 30% chance. Curacao and Bonaire. And then we work our way back through Guyana over the next two days, rain chance at 50%. Staying elevated in Suriname, as we were mentioning earlier, isolated areas of flooding will be possible. Scattered areas of rain, especially today in Cuba, with that front that is nearby, mainly the north coast and eastern uh, sections. Costa Rica and Panama, about a 50 to 60% chance. We do that again as we slide to the north and back through uh, Nicaragua, uh, back through Honduras. You see tomorrow and Thursday, rain chance in Honduras, including the Bay Island, running at 50%. Guatemala and El Salvador. As I showed you in the model earlier, by Thursday, that rain chance is going to get higher, up to a 60% chance. Mainly dry today in Mexico City. Could see a few showers uh, nearby once we work our way into tomorrow and Thursday. Yucatan Peninsula split eastern side. Cancun, Cozumel, a better chance of rain. Lower rain chance, Merida and Campeche. Not to say we can't see any, but a lower rain chance. Northern Colombia, rain chance running at 40%. 40 to 50% chance back through uh, northern Venezuela. Bermuda, mainly dry, but we'll be watching that front as we work our way into Friday that will eventually be pressing in. Mainly dry over the next couple days with some chilly starts back through Orlando. Miami, we've been watching out for some areas of rain. It's been a little bit more active right yesterday. We had some rain around, even some gusty winds in some spots, including parts of the uh, Florida Keys. Uh, Tampa, by the time we get into Thursday, some of that moisture from the Gulf may try to uh, work in. Houston, watch out for some spotty areas of rain, especially as we work our way into tomorrow. So an Atlantic subtropical system may form low chance, but it's possible, but either way, stays over water. Those fronts sweeping by to the north, so we'll be monitoring those areas of rain. So thank you for being part of this channel. Look forward to going through your comments throughout the day to see what the uh, weather is where you are. Have a really good day ahead.